What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. We just got done in the drugstore. We got our new little trowel and container to go pick a flower. Let's go check out the rest of it, though, shall we? The fabulous Bone Town. What you got? 3D printer, nice. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. So we'll be using that at some point. I'm not <clears throat> thirsty. Futuristic Useless. power supply. I already have all the energy I need. All right, nerd. How you doing? Hi. Hello. Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice, and it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele, a bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. How is business going in Bone Town? I, I only opened this business recently, but I'm very confident. The market research I did before opening in Bone Town is very accurate. So it's just a matter of time, and then I'm sure I'll find great satisfaction. What kind of market research? I was passing by Bone Town when I had a car problem. I asked for help from the town mechanic. After the hike to check out my stalled car, he asked me if by any chance I had something to drink. And so the light bulb went on in my head. Ding! If people here need takeaway drinks, I'll be here to serve them. So you just relied on the opinion of a single person who happened to be thirsty. Exactly. I know how to read the needs of a village. It's from little things that big projects grow. I have some serious doubts, but I wish you luck. Thanks, but luck doesn't have anything to do with it. Intuition and precise calculations are the foundations of every solid venture. That's right, I agree. Who's the town mechanic? He's a very skilled local handyman. They still call him the blacksmith here. He can fix practically anything. At first I had some problems with the vending machines, and he took care of making them go again. Now he's tinkering with my car. Now that I've moved here, I don't need it anymore. Since I have no urgency to get it fixed, I told the blacksmith he could work on it during the slow times. Since then, I haven't seen him around anymore. I understand. How do you handle your operation? Ha! That's simple. The vending machines and the signs do their work. I just have to wait for the customers and invest the proceeds in my other passion. Video games. Oh, so you're a developer? Ha! Please. I want to make a living. I play everything I can and help developers with my precise and sharp feedback. Of course. I noticed the new gutters in Bone Town. I didn't. I'm not from around here. I recently opened my business, and I'm dedicating body and soul to it. I've never ventured out to take a tour of the town. That's a shame. You don't know what you're missing. I also saw a 3D printer. Yes, it's the latest fashion. I decided to expand my market. By offering different products in the same store, I have more chance to succeed. Drinks and 3D printers? I see you also grasp the symbiosis of the two things. Hmm. I wasn't exactly paying you a compliment. This is another of my brilliant ideas. You can use it if you want. The first time, it's free. Just to encourage the customer to come back. And many people use it here in Bone Town? Some pass by here to see it, supposing it's an aquarium. But as soon as they recognize its potential, a universe of opportunity will open up to them. 
I like your enthusiasm. I'll make good use of it too, then. It's at your disposal when you want it. All right, I think we've covered everything Bye. there. See you soon. Nice talking to you, nerd. We'll obviously be using that uh, 3D printer at some point, but until then, continue on. Oh, ye old blacksmith. How you doing? I don't need it. Why no, you don't need it? Why don't you just look at it? What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? I don't know. There's a lot of junk on the top there. I'll think about it later. Maybe I could mount it on my next bicycle. <clears throat> That'd be helpful. I can't get there, and above all, I don't need it. Well, good. All right, let's go inside. Let's see if there's anyone here. Just opens door. I'm sure, this is fine. Tongs? Better take them with me. You never know. Just stealing the blacksmith's tongs? Oh my goodness. You can't just steal a man's tongs. <clears throat> Must weigh at least a couple of quintals. Might I'd well rather not test my spine. Yeah, just put it in necessary. your backpack. It'll be fine. I don't need it. Well, Too it many say? things. I can't take them all. Matchbox they could, could use that. Come in handy. Definitely use the matchbox. You never know when. I don't know how, but it could be useful. You can't pick up Thor's hammer. Apparently, you can. <clears throat> all right, Mjolnir, you're coming with me. Hey, horsey. Here, horsey. It doesn't seem to be very cooperative. Maybe it needs some extra incentive. I need an apple. Where's an apple? Better not. It looks like here in Bone Town, water is a valuable asset. Okay. I don't have much to do with anything here. Got a bunch of stuff. Let's head out. <clears throat> More new gutters. Check them out. Lately, the value of copper has gone through the roof, but I don't really want to rob this poor town. Does anyone see the night in the distance? Oh my goodness. What? I hope I don't have to compete in some strange medieval tournament. I disagree. I hope you do have to compete in some strange medieval tournament. I'll remember it in case a dragon appears before me. I'm a peaceful guy. I don't want to bring weapons with me. Tell me what the sign says, Willie. How dare you? Oh my. This is a shop. I don't think they would be useful to me, unless I want to take part in a medieval carousel. But right now, that's not among the things I aim to do. It's among the things I aim to do. I don't need them. There's no ammo. I need something to test the range of this mini catapult. Hmm. Oh. Put the hammer in it. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. Fine. The engraving says J. Roger. Let's try to see if there's something that might be useful to my research. You can't just I better put everything back as steal the gun. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Careful, boy. I don't like to repeat myself, so I'll tell you only once. It's not wise taking something without permission in a shop that sells weapons. Thanks for the advice. It's a valid this point. This alarm is a problem. <clears throat> I have to find a way to avoid activating it. We need to Indiana Jones this Better thing, man. Better use it with caution. Okay. Um. Can we tummy tongs? I it? don't think these. Yeah, I didn't think they would either. Scissors. Sorry. Can I take these scissors? It seems to me it's the only thing suitable for you in this <clears throat> shop. Round edges for greater security. Go ahead and take them, and don't forget to advertise Roger's Weapon Shop. Um. Thank you. Got you, Roger. Don't worry. We will advertise the heck out of you, Roger. But, how you doing, friend? Good morning. Good morning to you, young man. Are you interested in something? I need weapons. I need weapons. Many weapons. <clears throat> no problem. Here you can find as many as you want. And if you don't see something around, I can order it for you. But I need your ID and your carry permit. I'll be back with the documents. Many documents. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Excuse me. Uh... All these weapons are messing with my mind. How long has this shop been running? Basically ever since Bone Town existed. In every town there is a shop selling weapons. And Rogers is the ultimate shop in the city. We have weapons from all countries and all ages. Our centerpiece is that gun on display over there. It dates all the way back to the early 1700s. Wow. My grandpa found it hidden in his attic. It's in a perfect state of preservation. I'd only like to take a look, thanks. I couldn't help but notice the gun on display. You have a good eye, kid. 
It's the finest piece we have. It's an authentic weapon from the early 1700s. My grandpa found it in the attic, and since then it has always been on display here in our shop. We've done lots of research on it, but we were never able to establish provenance. We know that it dates back centuries, and it's a unique piece. It is unmatched in handling and finish. How it ended up in my grandpa's attic is currently a mystery. There's an inscription. J. Roger. We think it belonged to one of our forefathers. And in our family tree, there's nobody whose name started with a J. The first Roger to arrive here in Bone Town was Johan. But he was an Icelandic fisherman. How much are you selling it for? It's the only piece in the entire collection not for sale. Why's that? It's needed to give our shop a certain prestige. Without this, we would just be another common emporium selling weapons. Instead, many people pass through here because they know this relic is here. If I sold it, many customers wouldn't return. I understand. There must be something for which you would be willing to part with that gun. Absolutely not. There is no other weapon identical to this. You could try to find another identical one, but according to the research we did, it's a unique piece. And even if I found another one of the same value, I could never trade it. As I already told you, our patronage is based, at the end of the day, on this heirloom. That's why we installed a very sophisticated alarm system that goes off as soon as the weapon is removed. I found that out. How does your alarm system work? It detects the presence, weight, and dimensions of the object. As soon as this is removed, it immediately goes off. The only chance to steal it would be to substitute the gun with another identical one. But being one of a kind, it's absolutely impossible. I'd say it's a foolproof system. Understood. 3D printer, perhaps? I noticed that the city is being revitalized with all those new gutters. Let's say we must make a virtue of necessity. We've got serious water problems here in Bone Town. And, I would add, serious economic problems, too. Our Mayor Steve is trying to tackle all these problems as best he can. I think it's a good compromise. All that shiny brass seems to beautify Bone Town. And simultaneously provides the water we need to get by. Well, that's good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice talking to you, friend. I gotta go find something else to do now. <clears throat> Maybe we get like a camera and take a picture of it and 3D print it or something. I'm gonna go up this they alley before we go in there. Install all of them. I don't want to ruin them. I don't want to ruin them either. I just want to look at them, friend. Whoa. Let's try and hope it still works. The photo booth, you say? There's a super promotion. With a single shot, you'll see yourself in your current form, in the guise of a pirate, and, brand new option, in the guise of a drunk pirate. All offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. The things you do to attract customers. Woo! I better go out and recover the posters. I'm curious to admire the different versions of myself. Yes, let's get them. These could be useful for creating our fake ID. <clears throat> Great. Three posters of me. Wait a minute. I don't think sticking them there Aww. would be useful. I think I'm a good looking kid. I don't want to waste it like that. Hey, I tried, okay? <clears throat> it's not very nice to reverse the directions. Someone could get lost in this huge city. Is it is it huge? Is it really that big? It doesn't feel that big. I'm quite sure it's a felony to remove public material, and I can't see why I should do that. Okay, that's fine. I could stand in line waiting for someone to show up, or I could spend my time any other way. Fine. We'll go inside then. Check out the bandwagon. <clears throat> There's something shiny on the roof. Maybe it's the only thing worth taking from this place. How do I get to it? My arms are not long enough. Hmm. Use the tongs. Maybe now they will come in handy. <laughs> they did. That's funny. Six. Success. Good job, Willie. What's this shiny object? Got it. It's not a chimney. It looks more like a roll with a series of engravings on it. I don't think I still need these bulky tongs. Yeah, just throw them on the ground. It's a roll used to make an instrument play automatically. In this case, I believe it's a piano. Yes. There's a signature and a date. April 24th, 1712. Walter Fly. If it really works, Fly would be a genius. Alright, thank you for that. What's in the prize machine? I can't force it. It still looks very sturdy difficult task without even the original hammer 
But we have Let's try this the one. mystical hammer. Kathunk. No way. The weight doesn't move an inch. There must be another way to make the bell ring. Darn it. I don't need to take it with me. I could just, just go up and ding the bell, difficult man. To, difficult task. No? Okay, well. I tried. We'll come back. We still got more exploring to do. I didn't look at this before. It's not then. my kind of souvenir. Man, Willie, I just want you to read the things. Oh, how you doing, little little guy? I can't take anything until the seagull goes away. You just scare it away. I'd rather leave it in peace. It looks pretty aggressive to me. I have a plan. Better use it with caution. That was that was the definitely safe bridge. Oh, perfect. I'd <clears> rather <throat> leave it here as a warning to all future visitors. Let's Better go. not remove any pieces. I'd risk compromising its safety. Well, I want to go. Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't. I don't touch it. I walk across it. Gotcha. I wouldn't know what to do with it. It can only be admired. I don't know how to make it work. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. Let's open it up. Now, we apparently don't have any instructions, so this is not where we need to be at the moment. <clears throat> I'll be back, don't you worry. We have this hippie shop that we're going into in a second. A guitar is always useful. But it would be a waste to ruin such a beautiful sign. It would be. You're right. All right, hippies, how we doing? <clears throat> Drank it. I don't know what to do with it. I can only play the cello. Small I have can. to thank mom for the music classes. It's not the right moment to think about buying an instrument. Besides, after spending my last savings at Dead Man Inn, I'm broke. A tuning fork can always come in handy. Agreed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I take that tuning fork? Sure. It's available to customers to find Harmony. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, man. It's kind of you. It's already working. There's no need to waste coins. I don't want to waste coins. I wanted to look at it. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with those. All right, hippie. How you doing? Hello. Hello. Hello, dude. Peace be with you. May I help you somehow? I like the selection of instruments in this shop. Thanks, dude. It took years to stock up so much choice to test every single instrument to make it harmoniously perfect. <laughs> As in an orchestra where everything must be perfect? No, dude. No. I I'm talking about harmony with a capital H. Each instrument has a sound that connects your inner self with the motion of the universe, making you a part of the whole. And did you find the formula for this harmony? Dude, for more than 50 years, I've experienced things that link me with the harmony of the universe. But the path is still long, and there's still a lot to try. <laughs> That's not hard to believe. I'd be curious to know what kind of experiments you conducted. Better not ask certain things, dude. In this case, I agree. <laughs> is smoking allowed in this shop? Dude, who do you take me for? I could never go against the law and cause harm. <laughs> It looks like you're smoking. No, dude, this is the new frontier. Electronic cigarettes. I see. Aromatized flavor? Uh, yeah, you could say that. An aroma that expands your mind to connect you with the whole. I'm content. I don't want to investigate further. Goodbye. 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 <clears throat> I wish you peace and love. Now, hippie dude, you mind if I uh, go upstairs? Thanks, bud. Hey, there are other musical instruments here, too. But these seem to be more ancient. Don't they, though? Piano? Hmm. It looks like a mechanical piano. I can't play it. To make it work, a musical role would be necessary. We have one. I never saw one so old, though. There's an engraving. Walter Fly, 1712. I'd rather not. Okay. The role should go here. What was that? Uh, there was a hideout in the wall. Secrets. The opening mechanism seems to have activated with the sound of the instrument. 
The sound of music. The opening is too narrow. I can't even see what's inside. How do I open it? I don't think fixing my nails would- No, I don't, I don't think so either. I was just hoping you could like pry it open. Better use it with caution. I, I don't think that would work. Me neither. Okay, well. I already have a lot of things in my bag. What about tuning fork? I don't need it here. I don't need it here. Usually there's a metallic stick to make it play, but I can't see that here. I need something else to make it vibrate. It should work. Dong. Another noise. More? The hideout opened a little bit more. Interesting. <clears throat> it's a bow, but it's so old that the strings are worn out. I'll take it with me. If I can find a way to replace the strings, I can use the cello. Okay, so we need a we need some string. To play it, I first need to <clears throat> find the strings and repair the bow. I can't play this way. Okay, so we need to do that. Hey, Mr. Hippie, sir, do you have strings for a cello bow? Have you ever heard of Walter Fly? I'm thinking, dude. Uh, I think he's a singer from the 60s. No, wait. Dude, inspiration? It's just about to come. It's been a while since I heard that name. Walter Fly was a distant relative of mine. My third or fourth something or other. If I recall correctly, in the back room is a mechanical piano that belonged to him. Dude, he was like a musical genius. A sort of Beethoven of his age. Just that he didn't play in big theaters, only on transport vessels, or so I recall. Plus, he was very good at mechanics. Dude, he knew how to put things in harmony. What do you mean? The harmony between music and mechanics. Everything revolves around harmony, dude. In the back room, there are still instruments at the time Walter Fly came here to Bone Town. I understand. How come the instruments in the back room are not on display? <laughs> For the harmony of things, dude. Those instruments must be in that room. If I move them, I'd change the order of the things, and it wouldn't be good at all. Really? Actually, no, they can't be sold. One of my great-great-grandfathers put a clause on that action. The flies can sell all instruments, except for those that belong to our progenitor. I think it's a sign of respect for the legacy he left us. If I sell them, I'd be going against the will of my ancestors, and I'd ruin the harmony. Dude, harmony is important. I have no doubt. It seems something is missing from the piano in the back room. Dude, you have sharp eyes. That is one of the first mechanical pianos. It works with a specific role that makes the melody start. Can you tell me where I can find a roll? <laughs> Impossible. I know there was only one for that model, but it was lost long before I was even born. But My father told it. me that his grandfather loaned it to someone. For what reason, I don't know. And then, it was never given back. I have no idea where it might have ended up. Thanks, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, and sadly, nothing Goodbye. about the... Goodbye. I wish you peace and love. string. So we'll have to... Continue looking... I don't know what to do. I have to think. Yeah. <clears throat> I was wondering if we could like pull strings off that. I don't know how the I don't know how cello string works. <clears throat> pebbles. I could use a some of these. A few pumice stone pebbles could come in handy. They're light but resistant. Could indeed. Thank you. More items. Oh my goodness, we are getting overwhelmed. Hello, graveyard. Hey, flowers. Are these the flowers we're looking for? These are the flowers the pharmacist was looking for. Better take them to him. But he expressly instructed me not to touch them with bare hands. I should use something <clears throat> that will preserve their essence. Yes, like the things that he gave us. I hope they grew spontaneously. There we go. Hey, progress is progress. It's empty. There's no need to enter. If you say so. I don't want to take a tombstone. <clears throat> I want to go talk to the cow. The entrance is locked. Quite rightly. Restricted access will be reserved for family members only. And this one's just open. Junk. It doesn't seem healthy to touch these things. Coffin. I don't want <clears throat> to open a coffin. Yes, you do. Better use it with co- I guess he doesn't. Okay, well that's it. Alright, we're off. Up we go. <clears throat> There's the guy working on the car. Good to know. I can't. 
It needs gasoline to work. It won't work if you don't start the engine first. From what I see, I guess it still runs on gasoline or something similar. There's lots of windows. I can't take an entire window. Why can we I look at all three windows? Window. In any case, it's nice to be admired from here. I wouldn't know what to do with it. That's odd to me that we can look at all three windows. Oh, that leads to a new location. All right, cool. Toolbox. It doesn't seem <clears throat> like a good idea. Unless it's a matter of life and death, my tools cannot be touched. I get it. It is a matter of life or death, I promise. I don't have my driver's license yet. Hey, Blacksmith. How you doing, buddy? Hello. Hi. Do you need something? He seems very busy. Good boy. I can see you're very perceptive. Let's say it's one of my numerous gifts, in addition to... I'll stop you right there. I already said you're very perceptive, and you noticed that I'm very busy. What does that tell you? Do you need that my you help? you need my help? Absolutely. Here's what I need now. Could you please talk to me as little as possible, at least until I'm finished with this job? Is it a long job? You have no idea. He seems very busy. Good boy. Let's say I'll... That... In a certain sense, so I need a favor from a friend. Could you please talk to me as little as possible? At least until I'm finished with this job. Is it a long job? You have... Right. Goodbye. We'll, we'll, we'll leave the blacksmith alone. Poor guy. Oh. Maybe it could come in handy. I agree. It could come in handy. Take a like a Polaroid picture. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I can look at it from the inside as well. I can't take the whole window. If I broke it, I would never forgive myself. I don't see why. Interesting. All right, Reverend. How are you today? Good morning, Father. Good morning, son. I was admiring the beauty of this church. You're right. It's a real piece of art. It dates back a few centuries and is all thanks to an ancestor of mine. After he traveled across the ocean, he settled here in Bone Town. Seeing the condition of the village, he wanted to build a place of comfort for wayward souls at all costs. What was the name of your ancestor? Edward Drake, the first minister of the Bone Town community. Upstanding guide of Bone Town's people, unblemished pastor of the community. Yes, Father, I think I understand. This calling has been handed down from one generation to another, right up to today. Can you tell me anything more about Edward Drake? My ancestor? First minister of the Bone Town community, upstanding guide of the Bone Town's people, unblemished pastor of the community. Yes, that one. Before coming here to Bone Town, it is said he was a skilled glassmaker. All the stained glass windows of the church are his handiwork, created by his powerful hand, fused with the sacred fire of faith, designed with the ecstasy of supreme adoration. Yes, really beautiful. Yes, son. Every time I look at them, the fervor of the Drake's ignites within me once again. How are things going for the Church of Bone Town? Under my guidance, there's nothing to fear. Unfortunately, my flock has been reduced in number, but not in the strength of its faith. There are just a few troublemakers, a few kids who still don't have the patience to listen to my small two-hour sermons, but nothing more. How come Bone Town is in this condition? Progress. Bone Town remained a pure city, like when my ancestor arrived and never adapted to progress, and the latest events surely didn't help. What events? There are weird stories going around. Some of the faithful said they've seen people, not locals, digging around the city. We warned the mayor, who went personally to the places in question, but he found them already abandoned. Rumors say these excavations caused a hydrogeological instability that's depleting Bone Town's water supply. Fortunately, the holes were filled in again to prevent any damage to our flourishing city tourism. Are we talking about another city, perhaps? Son, 
just the mere chance to visit our holy church should be good reason to come to Bone Town. Ah, little St. Peter. Maybe you're exaggerating a little. Plus, we have a lot of other pleasant attractions. Here in Bone Town, we don't lack anything. Library, museum, amusement park, one of the most famous inns of the area. I wish I knew that earlier. I'm staying at the Dead Man Inn. That one, precisely. Everybody envies us for it. Who exactly envies the Dead Man Inn? Come again, son? Nothing, father. I was just reflecting on my luck. All right. Oh, wait, no. We still What's got more. What's the reason, in your opinion, for these illegal excavations? Rumors say that under Bone Town, there are veins of precious materials, and that the excavations were tests conducted by companies without city approval. The mayor would never let the city be disfigured. What materials might be in Bone Town subsoil? Some fantasize about golden veins. Others say it's copper or tin. I think there is nothing at all, or they would have surely realized it when they built the city. There's been no findings of any precious materials, either today or in the past. In doubt, the mayor made put some signs around that forbid excavations in all areas adjoining the town. All right, Goodbye. thank you. Goodbye, son. All right, guys, we found a lot of items this time. We've got a couple things that I think I know what to do with. I mean, obviously I know what to do with that, but I'm pretty sure I know what to do with that as well. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. They both help me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.